Howdy buddies, it's seasonal affective disorder time and it gets dark at like 4 p.m. So you know what helps with that? Soup! I'm fixing to show you how I make my creamy wild mushroom soup. It's umami bliss in a bowl, y'all. I'm gonna start out by putting to use some of my dried forage mushrooms. Here we got some black trumpets. I'm gonna get me a nice couple handfuls, that's what he said, and put it in a bowl. And you know your girl has got the morels. I'm gonna get me some of those and I'm gonna throw that into the dried mushy mix. Ain't he cute? Now I've got me about three handfuls of dried wild mushrooms here. You can use whatever kind you want to. Then I'm gonna cover it with piping hot water, let them sit for an hour to rehydrate. Grabbing up three leeks. If you ain't got leeks, you could sub in onions or shallots or skip it all together. Choose your own adventure soup. I cut my leeks like so to where it's just at where it starts to turn that lighter green color, compost the rest. Then I split them in half like that and then I slice it in thin half moons. Leeks can be a little dirty and gritty like me, so they need a little washing and some water to clean them up. I'm gonna mince me up some garlic. I go six cloves, take her blouse off with her consent, of course, and mince it. I found me a cutie little lion's mane yesterday and I'm gonna dice it up fresh for the soup. Lion's mane has like this seafoody flavor and it's just an amazing top choice edible mushroom. I also found me a flush of oyster mushrooms yesterday that is getting added to this party pot, honey. Check it in on my dried mushrooms that have been stewing and brewing. You can see that they're nice and plump. Also like me, I'm gonna rough chop them and add them in with the other fungus. And would you just look at the beauty of this mix of mushrooms? It gets my juices flowing, son. But wait, there's more. I'm adding in a couple of cups of some 2022 chanterelles that I sauteed and froze. I am insane. Got me a pot on medium high heat and I'm gonna add three tablespoons of butter, a drizzle of olive oil, which was literally all I had anyway. Once she's hot and readier than a little Caesar's pepperoni pizza, add in your leeks and cook them for five minutes. Add in your minced garlic and cook it for two more minutes. Add them chopped fresh and rehydrated mushrooms. Cook them around for 10-ish minutes or until they start to get nice and toasty on their edges. Adding in those previously frozen chanterelles after the 10 minutes. These were pre-cooked so they don't need as long. Cook her for two more minutes. Then I deglaze with a third of a cup of sherry. Make sure you scrape up any yummy naughty brown bits on the bottom. Add three tablespoons of butter, let her melt, and then add half a cup of all-purpose flour. You're going to want to stir this constantly and let it cook for about two minutes. It'll be all nice and gloopish. But hang in there. It gets better looking. Add you in four cups of chicken or veggie stock, and then remember those mushrooms we rehydrated? I always reserve my soaking liquid because it's freaking gold, sis. Add a cup of that juice to the pot, too. Now let's season the baby. We're going to go with some salt and some pepper, and you just do it to your taste. Two teaspoons of fresh thyme because thyme and mushrooms go together like peas and carrots. This is porcini powder. It's so dang earthy and rich, and we are gonna kick up this umami bomb with a tablespoon of that stuff. If you ain't got nary, it's okay. This soup is already stupid good without it. Bring it to a bowl, then lower the heat and simmer it covered for 20 minutes. And do not forget to toast you up some bread with your soup so we can get all fat and sassy. After 20 minutes of salivation and anticipation, remove it from the heat. Stir in a half a cup of heavy cream and an optional bloop of truffle oil. And that's it. There she is. And she is serving up some serotonin realness. For this recipe, you can sub in any mushroom of your liking and adjust the amounts if you don't have fresh, frozen, and dried at the ready and just get plum wild and feral with it. So if you were feeling gloomy before you started cooking, just making this is going to make you want to down titrate your antidepressant. This soup is thicker than a snicker, smells like heaven, and tastes so dang good. You can find the recipe at the link in my bio and go for the forage.